Hey, you're gonna do that battery <sighs> test? Well, I wasn't going to because my battery's fine. I haven't. They've been asking about it. I mean, I know they've been asking about it. They want to know. I know they want to know. <clears throat> fine, I'll do it. Okay. All right. So, I'm gonna test the batteries out on these things, but I don't really care. I've had the MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip and I've been using it for over a year and the battery has always lasted me long enough. I mean, you know this, I've already shared this on the channel. I just wanna get back to my developer-related tests here, but since you've all been asking, I might as well do the test. All right, so here's what I set up. I got four MacBooks here, a MacBook Air M2. This is the one I got a couple months ago. This one is an M1 Max MacBook Pro, which I've been using for over a year. And I'll go over that caveat in just a bit. These two are brand new MacBook Pros with the M2 Pro and the M2 Max. And I've opened up the same amount of programs to simulate daily activities. This is what my day looks like. I've got 15 tabs of the browser open. Okay, that's a lie. I usually have 30 or 40 tabs open, but 15 is enough. And I'm using Chrome for that. I've got two instances of Visual Studio Code running, one instance of Xcode. I think you can only have one instance of Xcode. Todoist, Notion, Notes, that about does it, plus or minus. I just wanted to simulate having things open on the machine and they're all the same. They all have the same stuff open. Now, of course, because these two are brand new machines, they only have a cycle count of three for both of them. They're all charged to 100% battery. The maximum capacity on the brand new machines is 100%. Same thing on the M2 MacBook Air. That one has a cycle count of 10. I've been turning it on and off a couple of times, doing some testing. But here's the caveat. My machine that I've been using for over a year has a maximum capacity of only 87%, sad, and a cycle count of 111. Hey, this is what we got, and this is what I want to compare. I've never had a problem with losing charge or running out of battery. So this is kind of like, because, you know, you asked me for it. Okay, I gotta admit, I'm curious myself, and it's the weekend. So here we go. Initially for this test, I was gonna use this, which is called Endurance, and uh, this keeps track of battery level and it maxes out the CPU, but it keeps it maxed out. So I didn't want that. Uh, there was another option called Basemark and their website is down for some reason. So in the end, I ended up writing my own. And uh, this is what it looks like. Pretty simple. All I'm doing is bash scripting a loop and every minute or so, it calls out to this Python program that maxes out the CPU. And I gave it a parameter of 10,000, which is gonna run it for about, let's say 15 to 20 seconds. So every minute is gonna run this thing for 15 seconds. And that's gonna simulate pretty much all day of working and building code. And I'm gonna keep running this until it, well, it dies. All these machines die. I do write out with each iteration to a log file to see what time it finishes. So let's kick things off. One, two, three, and four. Okay, I'll be back. Here they go. Okay, so you can see the spikes there. Spikes go on, spikes go off. Spikes go on, spikes go off. This is working. I think that this is gonna be a good test. Well, that was pretty dumb. I realized I didn't unplug this thing before doing the test. So I had to restart the whole thing. Also, it was dumb wearing a green shirt on a green screen. Yeah. Just uh, wanted to check real quick on this stuff, see how it's going. All the tests are running as expected. And we are getting up to 108 degrees at the peak on the M2 MacBook Air, nothing new there. This one, the fans are off. It's staying at 55 degrees, the M1 Max. I, I gotta wait for a spike on that one, but let's have a look over here. Over here, we're getting up to 108 degrees on the M2 Pro as well. And um, 107 degrees over here on the M2 Max. Interestingly, the fans are off on both of these machines, even with it hitting 107 degrees. What What are you thinking? That can't be, can it? It is a bit toasty in here, I gotta say. Even with these Apple Silicon machines, they are working at full tilt and there's four of them, so I guess that adds up. Now let's just have a quick look at the body temperature. Here, got 35, M1 Max at 35, M2 Pro, 35, and this one is at 35. Is this broken? No, it's not broken. They're all 35. All right, we'll come back in a bit. All right, it's the next day. Let's check on these. Yeah, it's nice and quiet in here. And these laptops are all dead. Uh, I hope that they'll start back up. 
I'm sure they will. Now I just gotta plug these back in so they charge. Okay, let's turn on the lights here. Let's see what's going on with these machines. I've charged them all. They should be all good to go now. All right, let's review. So clearly this is not uh, one of those tests where the battery dies by itself, where you're not doing anything. Those probably last for 22 hours, according to uh, what Apple is saying about the new machines. But since I'm constantly building and running stuff, <laughs> we got a lot less, it looks like. The question is, are you comfortable with this kind of result? And depends what kind of work you're doing. Now, before I give you the results that I got here, I just want to say that when I bring my laptop, my M1 Max MacBook Pro out and about, it lasts me all day. I'm not constantly building. I, I do some builds once in a while, but I'm not constantly building every single minute requiring all the cores. So while this represents uh, what you might be doing throughout the day a little bit closer, it might not be exactly what you're going to be doing. So consider this result relative to the rest of the machines, relative to themselves, to each other. Yeah. All right. I've got all the numbers. Now it should come as no surprise that the two beefy machines here, the M1 Max and the M2 max lasted the least amount of time because well they do have big batteries in there but they're also very powerful and hungry and they will eat up a lot more juice and they were very close too. three hours 38 minutes and 28 seconds for the m1 max three hours 36 minutes and 58 seconds for the m2 max so just about a minute and a half difference that's incredibly close now that also means that the m2 max is probably more efficient uh, because when i did the power metrics on it um, you can check some of the videos i've done before on this machine it shows that it's using more power for the CPU and the GPU. And if it's drawing more power, theoretically, the battery should drain faster, right? Well, that's probably what's happening. But also my guess here, this is just a guess. I don't know. The battery might be a newer technology there. Slightly newer battery, slightly bigger battery. I actually don't know that for a fact. But uh, the efficiency of that new chip is probably what's the biggest contributor to this lasting just about the same amount of time as the M1 Max. Now, any guesses as to which of the two remaining machines lasted longer? The M2 MacBook Air or the M2 Pro MacBook Pro? All right, here we go. The M2 MacBook Air lasted for three hours, 45 minutes and 41 seconds. So just a few minutes longer than the M1 Max and the M2 Max. But the M2 Pro MacBook Pro lasted for four hours, 19 minutes and 24 seconds. This machine right here lasted the longest and that's pretty incredible. Did you guess right? Anyway, it's been fun. Thanks for watching this video. Actually, if you like this video, uh, I'll take this moment to ask you to go ahead and hit that thumbs up because that really helps out the channel and uh, if you want to see more things like this consider subscribing to the channel as well it's free again thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one